Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Ashley Flores TV, and I'm here to tell you how I get myself out of a funk. I've got Shy here, <laughs> just chilling. I've been in a funk, and I've talked about it a bit, but like the past couple days I was like in a funk funk. So there are a few things that I wanted to share with you guys on how I get myself out of a funk because honestly, it be like that sometimes. Sometimes you just don't feel like doing anything and that's okay. Sometimes we just need a reset. So I did a few things to get out of this funk. First thing I did was I stayed hydrated. My phone just beep. I think it did. Beep. Oh my god, was it 2002? Um, first thing I did actually, not stay hydrated, but yeah, do that. Uh, I clean my space. I find that the most important thing that I can do when I feel like I don't have my shit together is make it look like I have my shit together by making my bed, by cleaning my room, cleaning my bathroom, cleaning my kitchen, just cleaning everything, reorganizing, getting rid of that pile of clothes on your chair or on your floor, doing your laundry. Clean your motherfucking house or apartment or room, whatever it is, clean it up, okay? I'm gonna put the kitty down, but enjoy my cleaning montage and say goodbye to Shy. <laughs> All right, numero dos. See those nails? Go pamper yourself, whatever you can afford. Get your nails done, paint your nails, get a facial. Something else that is very crucial to me in my self-care, to take the sunglasses off for this one, is therapy. When I'm in a funk, I know that I have my Friday afternoon therapy session to look forward to. So that's where I'm off to right now. But before I go there, I'm gonna grab myself a London Fog Tea a Latte. So let's go do that at my favorite cafe, Mabel's. Okay, I secured the latte and now I'm off to therapy. I go to therapy every single Friday. Some weeks it's really heavy and I leave there and I wanna cry. Some weeks I leave there and I'm really annoyed with my therapist for telling me things I don't wanna hear. And some weeks I leave there and I'm like, damn, I came all the way down here to talk about like ballet. <laughs> like, we'll just talk about nothing. Um, and I'm just like, okay. And these are all okay. Like, when I leave there and I'm mad at her or upset with myself and I'm feeling triggered, I know it was a productive session because if I'm feeling something so heavy, we we unlocked something, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I really enjoy therapy. It's shadow work. People don't really see it as shadow work. People think that shadow work has to be intentional, um, but I mean, therapy in itself is shadow work. So if you don't really know how to guide yourself through that, try therapy. It's really helpful. This London Fog Latte is delicious. If you've never had one, it's basically steamed milk um, with Earl Grey tea, vanilla syrup, and it's like this creamy, delicious drink, and I absolutely love it. You should try it. I got oat milk. Anyways, I am off to my session. I'm gonna listen to some music. Music always helps me get out of a funk as well. Janae Aiko's album, Chalumbo, has her playing um, crystal sound bowls in the background, so like, it's literally healing you and your all your chakras while you're listening, which is amazing. So I definitely recommend listening to the album if you're going through it. Um, why am I holding my cup like that? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go listen to that and just enjoy this drive for what it is. I'm taking the back roads today so I can see more on the way, you know? I'm hungry and I want to treat myself to some good. So I'm getting a sandwich from this Italian deli. <laughs> Bitch, they have such good food. All right, I'm gonna go in and I will show you what my sandwich looks like. Give me one second. Okay, I just had to show off the nails. Let me show you this sandwich. <laughs> you guys are gonna die. It looks so good. I'm so sorry that you can't experience this with me. Hold on, give me one second. Hot capicolo, hot turkey, 
lettuce, tomato, bomba, pesto, mayo, spicy salami. Bitch, look at that! Okay, for some reason my car mount is broken. But I need to give you guys a visual of me biting the sandwich. Because wow, this shit is delicious. Ooh. Oh, my camera's dying. Okay. <laughs> Yo, a car nearly just backed the fuck into me. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You wanna know how to get out of a funk? This is how. Mmm, mmm. This is how. Mmm, mmm, <laughs> What funk? <laughs> what funk? All my problems are solved by the sandwich. Problems where? Bills who? Mm. Mm hmm okay I'm gonna go enjoy this off camera go buy yourself a sandwich and you'll feel better I promise especially if it looks like this one I've been in a rut guys I don't know what's going on I feel like I'm coming out of it right now I really fingers crossed I am that's why I have not been creating content I have had my work ethic go all the way down I have just gotten way too comfortable with being lazy so basically, I am kind of trying to start over in a way. Not necessarily like start my channel over or anything, but just like change the way that I make my content, maybe less editing, maybe, I, I don't know. Something that's easier for me until I get back on my feet. Um, I actually ended up getting a full-time job because it was so hard for me to create that I couldn't really rely on YouTube and social media as my income anymore because I felt like I was completely neglecting everything so I just I was like you know what let me just get a full-time job and make it easier and more consistent until I get my creative flow back and my work ethic back um, so yeah I've been in a rut and these past few days I've had like this weird energy where I've been like just like <sighs> I needed a break I needed a break so as you guys saw I did a nice deep clean I feel like doing a deep clean helps me out so much like I feel like I'm getting rid of all the energy. Plus the new moon was yesterday, which is when I did the video, the cleaning and stuff. And I feel like when I get rid of shit and I make things clean and new, it just brings in this new energy. So I always like to do a clean right before the new moon. I don't know why. I mean, I guess I just told you why, but it really helps me. So I did that. And then I literally just took the entire day to do absolutely nothing. I watched Love is Blind. I watched Star. Um, I listened to music. I danced. It was really lovely. I spent the day alone and it was nice. And then I cooked myself a nice five hour bolognese sauce. Bolognese? Bolognese. I don't know. It was some like recipe I found for, by these Italian guys on YouTube. One of them, his name's like Vincenzo, and like it's like Nonna's recipe straight from Italy, straight from Bologna, Italy. And um, sorry, I shouldn't have done that accent. <laughs> And um, I make that sauce every now and then. It takes me five hours. Well, no, the cook time is five hours, but the prep time is like 40 minutes or so. And I made a nice delicious bowl of um, penne with bolognese sauce and it was absolutely delicious. It was so good. Anyways, sometimes we just need a break. I was literally talking about this with my roommate the other day. Oh my God, I don't live with Brenda anymore. That's a life update. We'll talk about that another day. Um, but I was talking about this with, with my roommate where basically I was telling her, you should take a break, you should take a break. But then I kind of like looked inwards and I was like, wait, am I projecting? I should take a break because I never allow myself to take breaks even though you don't see what I'm working on. I am working on many things, but um, I never really get breaks where I feel like I'm enjoying them because I always just like I'll like scroll on TikTok and I won't realize how long I'm scrolling. So like, yeah, I took a one hour break looking at TikTok, but the whole time I'm on TikTok, I'm thinking I shouldn't be doing this. I should get up. I should be doing something because I'm not allowing myself and giving myself permission to have that break. But yesterday I decided I'm giving myself permission to have this break and I did. And it felt so good because I actually just like chilled the fuck out. I didn't socialize. I didn't try to do anything. I just ate, cooked, cleaned, had snacks, watched shows, and went on my phone, and it was really cool. These things all helped me get out of a funk, um, having some tea, having some water, meditating, journaling. Didn't do those yesterday, should have, but I didn't. Allowing myself to relax and giving myself that permission. Even going to get my nails done, I walked halfway and then I took the uh, streetcar, so I got to look out the window and listen to music and listen to podcasts and just like 
gave myself that time with myself. I was gonna take myself on a little date. Oh wait, I did, I did take myself on a date. I went to St. Lawrence Market, which is in Toronto. And yeah, I enjoyed my time there as well. I forgot about that. So basically what I'm trying to say is, when you're going through a funk, just give yourself permission to be with yourself and rest. Just do that. Don't put pressure on yourself to get anything done. If you don't feel like cleaning, I mean don't, but it will help. It will help, I highly suggest it. But the main thing is just rest, relaxation, and being with yourself. That will work wonders. And try not to spend too much time on your phone. Like, Don't be like on your phone the whole time, just like scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Like do things that are more mindful and allow you to be more present. And that really, really helps me out. Watch that show you've been wanting to binge. Like binge a whole show in one day. Do it, just guilt free. But anyways, this helped me get out of my funk. So I think you should do your own version of this and see how it helps you if you're in a funk as well. The energy of the new moon is still lingering, so we're inviting new energy and so start claiming it, start manifesting it, start speaking into existence that things are going to get better because they will. So, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. And I know it was like a short little quick video, but I just wanted to share where I've been at in the past couple days. I wasn't feeling the greatest, but I feel like I'm doing a lot better now and I feel like I'm ready to come back properly to YouTube. I hope I am. I really, really want to be. Um, don't hold me to it. Like. I don't know how consistent I'm going to be right now, but I really want to make a real comeback and like start posting twice a week again like I was. I was doing so good. I also kind of want to do Vlogmas. I want to do Vlogmas, but I don't know. I don't know. We're going to see if I can do that because I am working a full-time job, so it might be difficult, but I'm going to try my best to do Vlogmas or my version of it. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh my God, look at me with my nails. Can you guys see my nails? They're really not that special. Like they're actually very plain. They're just long and pretty, which I'm not used to.